Hey guys, this is the Project Potato Podcast, and this is episode 5. I am Project TDM. And I'm Tito Network, and today we have as a special guest, Copper Knob. Hello. What's up? So, uh, so, lo- <laughs> yeah. um, so like usual, uh, we're going to do our track slash EP slash album of the month. Um, so yeah, for me it's uh, Galactus' new LP, Pharmacy. And for me, it has to be Surdansu, I think that's how it's said, uh, Strangers. And it's, I mean, it's another Synthwave 80s track, but I really love it. I mean, it's right now my favorite track, like, of all time, I suppose. But I really re- recommend you should check it out. Mm. Mine's probably the Nanabi remix. I recently came out. Oh, yeah, uh, the, top of the world. yeah, Top of the World, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been listening to that all day. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Yeah. Definitely. So um, now we're going to go into our typical interview. Uh, okay. And Kopenob. Yeah. Uh, so who are you and where can we find you? Uh, my name is Kopenob and I release uh, music on SoundCloud and Bandcamp. Mostly like future-based kind of stuff. But yeah, that's what I do. And how did you come up with your artist name? I've been wondering oh boy. About this for a while. Yeah. All right. Um, so I had a previous name called Beyond the Limit, and that sounded cringy enough. So I was like, Nah, I'm not. I want to do a different name, and I wanted something ginger related. And so I went up to my mum. This is such an awkward one. I went up to my mum, and I was like, What should my name be? And she was like, Coppernob. And I was like, that's really weird, but okay. She was like, no, it's an old like term for gingers. And I was like, all right. I changed it. The amount of people who were like, what one like, oh, that's inappropriate. Or it's like for your penis. And I was like, hmm, well, but I kept it. <laughs> and yeah, that's a weird well, story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting. Hmm. Something I could tell people. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, how long have you been producing? Uh, oh boy, like three, four years. But only because, like, the two years of me making music, I didn't really make music. Like, it was just like, you know, you know when you're like, first half FL studio and you make a beat and it's really crap, but you're like, I'm the best producer in the world. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I yeah. had for like two years. And yeah. then I was like, I should probably look at tutorials. Yeah. And now, yeah, so it's mm-hmm. about three, four years. Um, so, what sort of equipment do you use when you're producing? Uh, FL Studio as just uh, software. I have a piano, uh, Elise QX4E9, um, and that's really it. And, like, I guess when we're talking about plugins, I just use sound fonts and massive. Mm-hmm. That's it, really, yeah. Yeah. Um, so what kind of workflow do we do? I mean, what's your workflow like, you know? Um, it's always different. Like, I normally rush most of the songs. Like, I'm mostly, like, trying to get a song out, but it never works. But just out of the blue, like, there will be one that, like, actually I saved and carry on. So, mm-hmm. I guess how long I work on a song is, like, four or five hours. Yeah. Um, so, you've got a new EP coming out. Uh, mm-hmm. Tell us a bit about it. Uh, it's called CK Volume 1. CK for Copper Knob and all that. And I'm going to be start doing like volumes every like two months or something. Uh, the first one is just like showing you what I can make. Because I ha- haven't done Future Bass before the EP. So now I've done Future Bass and House and all that. And I think... On volume two and volume three and volume four is going to start being like more into stories. So like I'm thinking of the next one to be more like I don't know, like go through the desert or something like that on the EP. And then like all the volumes have like different stories behind them because mm. I want to make more pieces than actual like yeah, yeah. EDM bangers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this next question is kind of you know. You just talked about it, but do you have any future projects coming up, except for your uh, new volumes? Okay, um, I got loads of collabs 
happening at the minute. I got one with Space Candy. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 One with the last guy you were speaking to. Mm-hmm. I can't say his name right. Uh, Such so as said. How do you say Zephyr. it? Huh? Is it Zephyr. Isn't it Zephyr? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm working yeah. with him. We're releasing something very soon. Mm-hmm. And then I have... Yeah, and I have a couple of tracks. And I'm trying to get some remixes done for like local singers around here where I live. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Uh, so, do you have any tips for any new producers? Um. Yeah, I do. But like, it's not really a tip. It's more. It, yeah, it is a tip. So like, um. So like, when you're listening to your music and you have your headphones on and you're like really enjoying this like house tune or whatever you're making, like you go. When you making your music, you like rush it. I guess you like get really into it, and you just want to finish it straight away. That's not how you should probably act. You should probably keep listening back to it, see if there's little problems, tweak it. And what I normally do is I get my speakers and I, I don't know, go to the other side of the room, listen to it, look away, listen to it. And if there's something that like changes like really quickly in the song and stuff like that. I would notice it and I'm like, wow, that's a big like change. If someone was listening to it and they haven't seen the FL like file, then they would be surprised. So I guess try and think of it more as a listener point of view. Like I know there's a whole like, oh, make what you want. But it's also, you can make what you want, but no one might listen kind of thing. So that's my tip. Yeah, also I'm not sure if it's relevant, but the... Thing that um, you try and listen to your music or your mix with uh, several different headphones and a studio is it's um, uh, you know not just using headphones but the um I don't know the word for it but those you know nah never mind uh, but uh, not do you, do you mean like it sounds different on like headphones yeah uh, you know that uh, you that you should try and mix appropriately that it sounds as good as possible with both. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Cause like you listen you can listen to it with headphones and then you put them on speakers and it will sound either quiet yeah. or like yeah. you know it's some stuff wrong. So you work on speakers yeah. as well. Um, well the thing I is I always find when I'm listening to different uh, music is that sometimes with mm. uh, headphones I hear like little details you'd miss when I'm playing it with speakers. Well, like I, I noticed something a lot different, um, so I don't think it's. I don't know if that's something they do in the mix, but um, mm. I don't think you get exactly perfect all the time, because obviously different headphones have different capabilities. Yeah, definitely. And there's um, a the thing because I'm in well, college, so. I'm learning music, and there's a studio, and like I played one of my songs in the studio once, and like the bass was too loud. And I was like, oh my god, I did not realise like the mix was that bad. And it was in like a professional studio. So I was like, wow, like mm. it's like different areas, different yeah. like sounds. Yeah. Yeah. And uh just one thing that I that's not actually really relevant to this question, but uh, I thought about your profile and your you know uh why orange? I mean the color orange. You've been using because... it a lot. Because copper knob, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. orangey thing. Um, there's no really mean, like, because I'm in a music college, like I said, and uh, one little like thing my tutor said was like, have a theme, and I didn't have a theme before. I would just like put a random picture mm. thing, but then I thought I should probably keep a theme, so I'm doing that yeah, basically, yeah. like having different, mm. having the same theme for our yeah. Okay. And yeah, so. Uh, I'm sure you would like to showcase uh, us our um, your new EP in this episode. Yeah, sure. Um, should I talk yeah, about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, this is volume one, and I've been working like I don't know three, four months on it. Uh, I'm only going to show you one of the songs, which is called Swift, which is a house song. But the three other songs that are in it is Cat Scratch, which is Mimbaton, uh, Little Fix Heart, which is Future Bass. And I Like You, which is also feature-based, so enjoy Swift.
say so thank you guys for listening. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm Project TDM. And I'm Sage Network. And thank you, Copper Nub, for joining us today. Fair.